Hello everyone, this is Wervin here and today I'd like to go more into detail on mining efficiency. So I just found a very interesting post on the forums where a user called Aeonite found out uh, the formula that's used in the game in order to calculate how much uh, material you get from an asteroid. So depending on which temperature you beam it at, um, you get a certain amount of yield. And uh, I thought this formula was very interesting, so, so I thought I'd... Um, I'd illustrate it to you so you can see uh, what's happening. So um, the interesting thing to know is that uh, for 100% yield, so to get the maximum amount of materials from a certain asteroid, you need to beam it between 2137.5 Kelvin to 2250 Kelvin, which is, if you've seen my other mining efficiency video, is basically when the purple leaves the beam, when it becomes entirely blue. So also the maximum uh, temperature you can beam it at is 2250 Kelvin. If you beam it higher than this you will destroy the asteroid and you will get zero at all. So you have to be very careful. So then um, there is a temperature factor which basically describes the percentage of the maximum yield you get. Um, I won't go really much into detail but in case you want to know the temperature factor is 225 divided by two times um, 2250 minus the mining temperature that you beamed the asteroid at. Um, and so basically this calculates if you don't beam it at the right temperature, how much do you still get from the asteroid? Um, and the mining temperature in this formula is supposed to be between 1125 Kelvin, which is the minimum. If you beam shorter than this, uh, nothing happens at all, so you have to start mining again. Um, and uh, the 100%, 2137. So I thought I'd make a graph of it, yeah, so don't mind all this. There, so now we get a line. Um, so on the x-axis you have um, the temperature that you beam the asteroid at, and on the y-axis you have the yield. So if it's 1, you get 100% uh, of the yield, and if it's 0, you don't get anything. If it's 0 0.5, you get half. So what's very interesting about this graph is um, that it actually shows that mining efficiency goes down really, really fast. So if you beam it uh, 200 degrees uh, Kelvin uh, too little, so on 2000 degrees, you actually, so on 2000 degrees, you actually only get like half of the efficiency you would get normally. So the efficiency decreases really fast. And actually, if you see, if you would beam it at 2100 Kelvin 2100 Kelvin you actually have like 75% of the maximum yield so it's actually fairly difficult to get the maximum efficiency of an asteroid but it's really worth paying attention to because before you know it if you always beam at 2000 degrees you have to mine twice as much as you normally would so I hope this graph illustrates well how important mining efficiency is and how yeah you should kind of try to get as close to the max as possible without going over the max because then you destroy the asteroid. So I hope you found it useful and see you next time.